<laughs> I have reasonings and oh God, I feel like I have a frog stuck in my throat, so I'm gonna make a lot of disgusting noises this stream. I'm so so sorry. Sorry. Anyway, we're back with Sam and Max. Woo! And the name of the stream will make sense. Hold up, I have to change the thing. Like it's one of the games where you, it's one of those games where you click on it and it starts making noise. Um. Anyway, uh, the name of the stream will make sense soon enough. Don't cancel me for the fucking name. It was the first thing that popped into my mind, and I thought, yeah, this works. This this works. Anyway, I got a headache. I'm not feeling too well, but I wanted to stream because it's been over a week since I've streamed, and I want to try to keep up this trend of at least once a week. And I want to get Sam and Max. I love Sam and Max, but I want to get it done with soon because Psychonauts 2 came out, and I want to play that. So, let's switch over to the gameplay. Also, I, I windowed the thing for reasons. So, I windowed it so I could interact with the tw with Twitch directly. But the thing is, it has these weird black borders. I can't get rid of those. I don't think the game had that. Anyway, had it when it was full screen. Anyway, I'm, I'm actually streaming from my bed this time. So, I don't have my second monitor. My sister just walked in. Hello. Close my door if you want me to be quiet. Are you making out with my mirror? Okay, she's just using my mirror. All right. Um. Anyway, so this is why I named the stream what I did. Episode four, Abe Lincoln must die. <laughs> the president's lost it. Federally mandated group hugs. A pudding embargo? What's next? Sam and Max are off to Washington to take care of this bozo, but the pol political climate will only get stormier, and a new power will rise. Did they fucking animate the Statue of Liberty? Why did I say the Statue of Liberty, the Lincoln Memorial? I spent so much time in DC. As a kid, my mom grew up in the area, so when I was younger, we would co go to on constant road trips to Maryland, and over... So I saw Washington, D.C. a lot as a little kid. So I know that fucking thing. Why'd I... Bug. I am reborn. I will feast on your entrails and devour your soul. <laughs> you know, Max, sneaking the bug into that exorcism was an uncharacteristic stroke of genius. Demonic possession is the gift that keeps on giving. What? Oh, Commissioner. Uh, no, that was uh, Max's aunt. Yes, 14 packs a day. What's that? Yes. Yes? No. Yes? Sweet suffering Saint Sebastian on the sousaphone in a short story by Susan Sontag. We're on our way. Who the fuck is Susan Let me Sontag? Guess. Our friendly neighborhood demon just burnt down another monastery. No, Max, we have a far more bloodthirsty adversary this time. The President of the United States of America. Oh, shit. Who? The man's <laughs> gone nuts. He's enacting all kinds of crazy new laws. What else is new? Federally mandated group hugs before, during, and after all major sporting events. I like so, I support that one. He's curtailing civil liberties, threatening the environment. Hey, that makes three of us. And he's about to introduce mandatory gun registration. Get the keys. <laughs> I find that very funny. That was a funny one. But I, I'm a liberal, and I find that found that funny. It was just like the way they executed it. Eh. God, do I have something in my eye? Ugh. I keep meaning to stream from the college, but the thing is, that room I streamed in last time, I don't necessarily have access to it all the time. I need... That, that might be a one-time thing, because you need a student ID to rent it, and I didn't have it, so they just let me go for that one time. I'm getting my student ID on the 17th, because that's when... Cause you, cause because of COVID, you have to make fucking... Uh, you have to make fucking appointments to get your student ID because of COVID. So I have to wait. I have to wait till the 17th to get my ID, and then after that, hopefully I can start streaming from the school again. 
I have to point out, Sam, that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you just let me drive. And I have to point out that we could have avoided this gruesome accident if you hadn't jumped on my head shouting Jersey Devil, Jersey Devil and firing your gun out the window. I swear that woman was a dead ringer for him. Well, here we are, standing in an open field west of the White House. Let's burn the hammer down on that so-called commander-in-chief. Dear God, this hole? Any golf balls? Nope. Okay, let's put them to the soda. Oh, it's that guy. Where are we going, Sam? No place. Never mind. We may be going nowhere, but at least we're making good time. Okay. Sign. Your name here. For naming rights to this building, please contact the Office of Desperation Accounting. Oh boy! Can we, Sam? Please? We'll see, little buddy. This weird fucking music is mm. kind of annoying. White paint, Christmas lights, and a small barbecue. Everything somebody would need to renovate, decorate, and then accidentally burn the place to the ground. Later, Max. Later. The, wa the White House has been burned down before. I was about to make a history joke, but I don't remember the history exactly. And it reminded me of... I've started doing D&D &D again, and there's one guy who I invited along, and his whole thing is that he is like a big history nerd. He's Roman Please Catholic. Please do not feed the submarine. What can you feed a submarine anyway? Nothing. Weren't you listening? He's Roman Catholic, first of all. And he has like so many fucking middle names. Hey, my and, missing boxing glove. And a Roman it's last. in the last place you look. And then like an Italian last name. And he makes like these crazy D and D characters. So his name describes his character very fucking well. His D and D characters' names are just. The as White long. House pool, most secure waiting pool on earth. Like his D and D character for this campaign. He, he's a forever DM. He named his character Hansel Warfenmeister, and he made it histor he made him a historically accurate like German blacksmith. Jimmy? Oh great! What are you guys doing here? Oh, just saving the world. What are you doing here? I happen to take my vacations at the White House, and I need a little R and R. Speaking of which, beat it. Anyway, that's that was my two cents. Uh, anything over here? Nope, it's barren. Alright, let's talk to the Secret Service agent. Oh, wait, let's look at the mailbox first. Valley parking, and a payphone, and a sign. There is a small mailbox here. Ah, uh, it's one of those ornamental mailboxes that doesn't actually open. That's government efficiency for you. Okay, let's check out the. Alright, let's check out the payphone. There's a roof or rent sign. Hey, this phone only takes Susan B. Anthony dollars. It must be one of those stupid 555 phones. Yes, actually. 555-1984. Hey, Sam, did I ever mention how I've memorized pi to 1,000 decimal places? It's 3.14159265358979. do you have a piece of paper handy? You want to write down the phone number? I remember the number. I want to write myself a reminder to smother you with a pillow in your sleep. <laughs> Okay, valet parking. There's so many signs. Valet parking, two dollars. Way to knock down that deficit. Post no bills. Post no bills. I'm surprised this sign survived the Clinton administration. <laughs> I'm not gonna comment on that one. Step aside, buddy. Freelance police. Just a moment, sir. Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Possible situation at the front door. Talking dog and uh, rabbit trying to gain access to the OO. Please advise, over. Super Bowl? Oh, yeah, that's a negative on the access permission, Bye, sir. Mom. I'll have to ask you and your little friend to step away from the White House. Doggy Daddy, this is Loose Cannon. Going. Request permission to pants this goon. Over. <laughs> Before we try physical violence, Max, let's try dazzling the man with our razor-sharp wit and labyrinthine logical conundrums. Ah, emotional violence. Good plan. Okay, did you call yourself Super Bowl? Let's go with that one. Did you call yourself Super Bowl? Codename, sir. I'm a bouncer. Secret Service humor. And who's Papa Bear? Section Chief. Runs the operation. Protects the president. Oh, Super Bowl. I get it. I don't get it. 
I want oh, to talk to your manager. We're going full Karen. No we're can going do, full sir. Karen. He's with the president. Uh, there you go. Don't you get bored guarding this door? It's a rewarding job, sir. Doing my part, keeping the president safe. Hey, Super Bowl! I'd like you to smell these two handkerchiefs and tell me which one smells more like chloroform. Not now, Max. Is that all you do? Guard this door? That's my primary assignment, sir. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 100. Try to guess it while I drop increasingly heavy weights near your head. What's your secondary assignment? Varies. Receptionist, maintenance, light grounds work, public relations. Public relations? I'm a people person, sir. They have you guys doing odd jobs, too? Cutback, sir. Employee Reduction and Consolidation Act of 2003. That's These sunglasses aren't cheap. Hey, Super Bowl! What gauge syringe would be best for injecting you with a knockout serum? Just a hypothetical. You really have time to do everything else and guard this door? I make the time, sir. It's what I do. Okay, uh... Let us in, pal. We're freelance police. Here to save the president. I thought we were here to stop the president by any means necessary. I was going to wait to mention that part, Max. Either way, sir, you can't get inside. Orders. Um, let's just keep... Seriously, Jack, let us in. It's a national emergency. No can do, sir. Hmm, it's going to be tougher than I thought to trick this goon and get inside. I heard that, sir. And it's going to be impossible. Hey, no fair. You're not supposed mm -hmm. to listen to casual asides. <laughs> it's in the job description, sir. Report all stage whispers, soliloquies, and casual asides to the proper authorities. Curse them! They've thought of everything! <laughs> Finest security force in the world, sir. Okay, um, we'll be back. I've had enough of this. Papa Bear, this is Super Bowl. Perp's exiting Zone 4 now. Seem disgruntled. Stay on the lookout. Over. Now can we push him down and beat him with sewage-filled garbage bags until he runs crying into the reflecting pool? Tempting, Max. <laughs> but these Secret Service guys hold a grudge. Okay, um, all right. Let's, uh, let's head Where back going, to the Sam? office to see what's up there. Back to the office. I'll drive. Not while I'm alive. Exactly. That's psychic. I mean... I mean psychotic. This is psychic. I'm a moron. All right, we're back here. It's your list. Love is for everyone. Sybils. What is that? Dating service. We'll check that out later. Um, hold up. Uh, Quars, thank you for the follow. I had to click on the Twitch to check the name. Anyway, let's keep let's keep going. The bam uh, uh, free home delivery. What the hell is this? Hey, a free home delivery sign. Uh, the sign's not free, but oh, my book is. Okay, let's take a book. It's Hugh Bliss. Whoa, He's not wearing shoes. It's our favorite cultish crackpot, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. I want to buy something. Take my credit card. Put me on your mailing list. Anyone you want me to recruit? You're supposed to give the Stockholm syndrome a few days to kick in, Max. <laughs> Who has that kind of time? What are you doing here? You see? He's not wearing shoes! He's not wearing fucking shoes! What the hell? What's a big celebrity like you doing on our street, you Why would you wear shoes, Why, like, I'm on a city the street? great news about prismatology! The magic and science of unlocking the harmony of colors for a revolution in holistic personal and interpersonal well-being? Now translated into 15,000 different languages, including Esperanto! <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! I don't think there's that many languages on our are the books selling well? Selling? You can't put a price on imagination. You can't sell the wonder of a daydream or the laughter of a child. He's right. I've tried. <laughs> uh, well, what's your book about? What again? was your book about again? Genetics, the handbook for multicolored happiness. It's about everything and nothing at all. Oh. Uh, no, really. What's, What's your book this about? prismatology nonsense really about? All it is is the total reawakening of mind, body, and spirit. I'm getting in a hungry. I have shrimp chips here, so bliss. you're about to hear a lot of crunching. I'm really excited. Uh huh. And how do we do that? Okay. Simply focus on the orange at the core of your spirit. Okay. No, wait. Okay, now. Shift your consciousness to the ultraviolet. Doing that. 
mix it with the indigo of your imagination, and then let it slide down the rainbow of your hopes and dreams. That didn't make wow, I can't believe it was so simple. Uh, how do you stay in business? How do you stay in business? With the magic of volume and free delivery. You can have all the colors delivered to your home for no green. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Stay colorful. Okay, I see he is weird. Newspaper box. President appoints action figure as Secretary of Defense. That is pretty crazy. Well, at least it was an action figure of John Shaft. <laughs> oh, I can dig it. I've never seen Shaft. But it said Purcell attacked by two headed monkey. Uh, Steve Purcell's the creator of Sam and Max, so I like that. I like that joke. Non mafia owned casino destroyed by mysterious explosion. Mysterious? I gave my name to reporters and even posed for pictures. Sometimes blowing something up is its own reward, pal. Okay, uh, let's try the gumball machine. What's in it today? Novelty gumballs. Shaped just like the real thing, but made of inedible plastic. Fool your friends, annoy your grandparents. <laughs> What's it this week? What's shaking, Bosco? Ah, greetings, Cobra's dog rabbit. I'm having trouble placing the accent this month. Mid-Atlantic states? The San Fernando Valley? Hmm, I get more of a vague Baltic vibe. Something in a light check pattern. Ha ha ha! Comrade Maximilian makes the funny joke. I am Vladimir Ilyevich Boskovorsky, Russian proprietor of Workers' Glorious Warehouse of Inconvenience, no? No. But now I make new start in America, which I love. So is no need to aiming sophisticated targeting equipment at me. Okay, hold up. I need to move some stuff around so Stuff's gonna audio's gonna stop for a little. And there we go. Um What's with the Soviet bloc, Bosco? It's perfectly natural, comrades. I work with the American government in spirit of Glasnost. They know. They know. Who knows what? The feds, man. Uncle Sam. The government's watching us all the time. So that's why I always feel an overbearing presence just out of my field of vision, watching and judging my every move. Fourth wall! That's me, Max. Okay. We want to buy something. We want to buy something. Yeah. It's evil, but necessary private enterprise. Uh, do you have any... Do you have any potatoes in the likeness of Catholic saints? Yet. There's a very funny one I'm trying to find. souvenir snow globes from the mystery vortex? Yet. This is a very fun one. Do you have any Lobster Fox brand cereal? Neat. Uh, Do you have any Tagalog rhyming dictionaries abridged? Neat. Come on, where Do is it? Do you have any Wiener Cozies? Here it ah, is! We just get shipment of those in this week. Let me look. Oh boy! Oh wait, did you say Wiener Cozies? I thought you said Navajo blankets. No, we're all out of Wiener Cozies. Here it is! Do you have any Navajo blankets? Neat. Okay, let's see, what have you got? What do you got? His most glorious invention, comrades. He's useful for, uh, how you say, questioning. Questioning. His true serum makes easy even the most difficult, how do you say, uh, interrogation. What's it gonna be this time? Interrogation. True serum? Is this another one of your half-baked overpriced gimmicks or does it actually work? Both will make anyone get rid of inhibitions and telling, uh, how you say, complete and honest truth. Your accent sucks. Hey, it's already working. Mm -hmm. We'd like that truth serum, Comrade Boscovich. Is good. Price is 867.5309 rubles. How much is that in real money? One hundred million dollars. I think your rate of exchange is a little off, Boscovorsky. Fall of Berlin Wall brings great strength to our economy. <laughs> okay, never mind. Nothing for us right now. Uh, what's that smell? Something in here smells like fermented hate. It's like sweaty jockstraps soaked in boiled cabbage with a dash of sulfur. Keep it down, guys. You're scaring off the other customers. 
What other customers? Max and I are always the only ones in here. What? I mean, it's a good thing. Merchandise is always available. Coming in here is like visiting old friends. Some of these cereal boxes are from the McKinley administration. <laughs> I carved our initials in one of the weenies, so we'll be best friends forever, Sam. <laughs> That's a... <laughs> okay, we'll see you later. See you later, Bosco. He's no Bosco, comrades. He's only loyal worker Bosco Vorsky, who is no threat to glorious American government whatsoever. He says with a com... like a fucking communist... Let's use the, the weenies if you mention Are the these weenies. weenies beef or pork? Or woolly mammoth meat? It's 100% all natural ingredients. It's to perfection. Okay, um... Foamy bread. Made from real styrofoam? No, artificial styrofoam. Um... Let's see, anything here? Cameras. How's up with the microwave? Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Maybe another time. <laughs> Seriously, these are some really good shrimp chips. Like, originally I went to, there's this Japanese market like 17 miles from my house. We don't go there often, but I love the place. It's got delicious food. And we went there, and a while back, I got some rice crackers from there. And they were, happened to be shrimp flavored, and I loved them. Fast forward to once I finished the thing of rice crackers, we are all out. And I say, hey, Dad, can you get me some shrimp crackers? He gets me these, which are shrimp chips. And I fucking love these bitches. Okay, let's see. Actually, dash. Anything useful in here? Check the closet door. Hello! It's our favorite shifty card cheat, Leonard Steak Charmer. How you doing, Leonard? What do you think it's bad? It's bad. Come in out of here. You like come in. Good, good. I did not expect that. Holy shit. Okay, let's uh, go talk to Sybil now. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Seriously, why are shrimp chips so good? It's what makes these things so good? They're like they're puff wheats, but they taste like shrimp, and they're delicious. Oh. Uh. Hello. Do you guys want to submit an application for my dating service? That depends. How extensive are your background checks? Some other time, Max. Let's talk to Sybil. Hey, Sybil. What's new in the world of frequent random career reassessment? Hi, fellas. I'm really excited. I found the perfect job for me. You don't say. That's right. I, Sybil Pandemic, am now a professional matchmaker. I thought I smelled phosphorus. I thought I smelled that joke coming down the turnpike, burning oil and dragging its muffler. It's a dating service, Max. I figured that if a smart, successful career woman like me could be having so much trouble finding a date, there must be plenty of other people who could use help. Um, you can't get You're having trouble finding your soulmate? You don't know the half of it. It seems like all the guys I meet are total losers. No offense. None taken. Hey! Or else they're borderline psychopaths. No offense. None taken. It's the borderline cases you have to watch out for. <laughs> what the? Where's the lion? What? I just heard a lion. What the fuck was that? What kind of man are you looking for? Older men. Guys with a little history to them are such a turn-on. Oh, and tall men. And distinguished. And he should be experienced. All right, enough already. Yes, I will go out with you, Sybil. I thought she was talking about me. Uh, could you find dates for us? Could you find dates for Max and me? 
Seriously? I mean, sure. Why not? Stranger things have happened, I guess. They must have, somewhere. I'm choosing not to be offended by that. What do we need to do? It's easy. Just submit an application. Okay, we want to submit an What kind of stuff is on this application? The usual. Your best traits, and what kind of person you're looking for. Hooks for hands! Hooks for hands! When you're done, I'll put the application into my computer, which analyzes your personality matrix at 15 essential compatibility points. I don't have a personality matrix so much as a personality vector. Once we've found a match, you call your date and agree on a time and place. Let me help you guys out. Tell me your good points and what you're looking for in a date. She should love animals. Such as the elusive praying mantis, whose deadly but enthralling mating rituals she mimics. You really know how to ruin the mood, Max. Oh, and cybernetic implants, like an elbow that can connect to the internet. <laughs> she should have an air of mystery. Making frequent passing mention to her time on the chain gang, but when pressed, revealing nothing. She should love the outdoors. We frequently lock ourselves out of doing. the office. I have no clue what I'm doing. That's all I can think of. Oh, that's plenty. Now I'll just put your applications into the computer. And there it is. Max, it says your perfect match is... Cybernetic laser eyes. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Well, that's interesting. It says your perfect match is Sam. Gay! Disturbing. And yet somehow not completely unexpected. Very, very And gay. Sam, your ideal soulmate is... Wait for it. Max. Gay! Well, there goes another blow to the concept of a fair and just universe. Hey, Sam, yeah, what do you color. say we never, ever speak of this again? Way ahead of you, little buddy. What's next on the career horizon? Next? This is it. What could be a better job than helping people find their perfect match? Sure. Okay, no God. Good point. I'll stick to the dating business, though. All right, we'll see you around, Sybil. See you around, Sybil. Mm. Water. Okay. Whee! In, in the meantime, while we were talking to Sybil, I took the liberty to look up a guide because I'm fucking stupid. I am always a moron. And I embrace my stupidity. But also the fact that the sooner I get this done, the sooner My mom's my mom's at a football game going, with my Sam? sister right now, because my sister's a cheerleader. We're off to the White House. So oh once she comes back, she's bringing Culver's with her, and I wanna eat that. There's also the fact that I've been addicted to high pixel lately and I am like so close to getting ten million. It's- it's a- okay. Here's what we need to do. We got the boxing glove, correct? Oh, we still have this guy. Hello. Boxing glove. ba -bam time! There are so many other things to punch. What? Hold up. Okay, I screwed up. I misread what I was reading. See, even with guys, there, there is Sam? room for error. The error being me. Back to the office. Shotgun! Now my, now my lips taste like shrimp. Oh, hell yes. Now I am the most attractive being on Earth. Who wouldn't want to kiss someone with, sh with shrimp lips? Come on, come on, come on. Office side. You can hear me licking my lips because this is very tasty. The all new diet. Put put a shrimp. Very disturbed individual sits here. The new, all new diet. Put shrimp powder on your lips. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. And just lick it when you're hungry. You always say that. Okay, wait, hold up. Mm. 
There's a poster? I might have screwed up along the- somewhere here, too. I think it's outside. Fuck, now I just have scrimp in my head. I really watch too much Smitty. Free home delivery. We need to find a poster. No posters over here. Like, I found a spoiler-free one, which is very good. But I need to find a thing of posters. Uh, posters. Posters. One of them's gonna fall, and we're gonna need to pick that one up. Give me all you got. It's the Army's new recruiting slogan. That's a lot better than their old one. What are you, chicken? Gonna cry now, baby? There Apparently, we go. There's no room in the military budget for quality adhesives. There it is. That's what we need. Now we're go now we're cooking with gas. God, that's the thing my parents would say. Is, is there such a thing as spending too much time with your parents? I feel like there is. When you're my age, there I, I feel like there shouldn't be. No, wait, most people my age are living in a dorm, not at home. Oh. Now I'm just upset! Jesus Christ! I just upset myself! Okay. Who are you calling, Sam? Ba bam The White House. White House, Agent Super Bowl speaking. It's Super Bowl! Hello, please hold. Hello, please hold. Roger that. He's gonna hold, and Our then the door's gonna- sure gonna be expensive this month. It's okay, Max. I've been paying them out of your retirement fund. Hello? Is anyone there? Ah, <laughs> uh, now when we go to the White House, he won't be at the door, he'll be at the payphone! Oh ho ho! How genius of me! I got shrimp dust on my hands, but I don't want to lick my fingers because I- I- Because I'm using my computer. Where are we going, Max. Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh boy! Seriously, this should be... It's delicious, but so messy. I probably shouldn't eat... Should not have eaten them on my bed, because now there's gonna be shrimp... I'm gonna Hello. be sleeping with the Hello. shrimps. Hello. I'm gonna be sleeping with the shrimpies. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Now, a lot of these same folks will say that we're wrong for introducing this federal pudding embargo. They envy our freedom. I ask you, what have they got to hide? Unless they're secretly sitting on stockpiles of pudding, and oh yes, we will find them. They've got nothing to be afraid of. This so in conclusion, weird. America, get hey, your that's... back up off the wall. Dance, come on, marzipan and good night. It's worse than we thought, Max. He's crazier than a caffeine-addled dingo in an Adelaide maternity ward. I think Adelaide? he makes a lot of good points. Those puddings are trying to steal our jobs. And I especially like how he does that spinny thing with his eyes. Yeah, this guy... By if, the in, whiskey in the... soaked beard of Ulysses S. Grant. That's it. The Even in the world of Sam crazy. and Max, He's been that hypnotized. guy's design We've got to snap him out of it, Max, and pronto. Face. How do we do that again? We hit him over the head, like we do with it all hypnotized like people. It looks like Billy the Puppet. Oh, like, yeah. Is that the puppet's name? The pup, the fucking puppet from R.L. Oh, Stein? No. I, I don't know. <sighs> I know this, I know this reference. It's a stack of pithy campaign slogans. Oh, don't fool with those. Wouldn't want to be caught on national TV with my drawers down again. But like, okay, speaking of R.L. Stein, the, the cool thing about Psychonauts 2 is that um, they got Jack Black to voice a character. And Jack... That was a very shitty segue. Anyway, yeah. Jack Black voices a character. I'm trying to... I want to click on the Nutcracker Washington! Hi, I'm George Washington. Anyone need their nuts cracked? <laughs> <laughs> Please don't make fun of George Washington. 
Wait, what the fuck is... Oh, they got Looks the medical. Like there are rats in the Oval Office. Sam, you finally done it. A straight line so easy, even I won't touch it. Painting. Is that a Rothko? No, Sam, it's a painting. Sheesh. Sheesh. War room door. No one enters the war room. That's it. You two are coming with me. I and screwed up. Stay out. Hello. Now I have to get back to the president. He's not supposed to be alone. I feel like I screwed Excuse up somehow. Excuse me. Hello. Oh, welcome, Governor Wizard. The president has been waiting for you. Is anyone Governor Wizard? Wizard? Hey, what? who better to run a state than a washed-up, urination-loving former child star? What no the one. fuck? Hello, this is the White House. All right, let's try this Hello. one more time. Try this one more time. Hello. Is oh God. Hello. Right then I was just screwing around, but I just looked up the guide again. So. No, sir. I said soda abuse. It's a very important issue. Was I? No, comprende, son. But I'm speaking English. Ah, oh, are, are you two fellas the interpreters? It's about time. Darndest thing, we just had a couple imposters in here. Dead ringers for you two. Were they oh walking around God. examining everything and engaging everyone in pointless conversations? Those are the ones. Those accursed clones. When will their devilish mimicry end? Help me out with this here potentate, would you? Can't understand a dang word. But that doesn't make sense. I don't even have an accent. Oh, no. Momento, por favor. Impatient little guy, ain't he? This is so fucking stupid. Ugh, he Good just day, Mr. President. President. We come in peace, as far as you know. Oh, finally! The interpreters! Where have you been? We're ready to interpret. We're ready to interpret for you. All right! Let's get this party started. <laughs> Mr. President, my fellow Americans, I come to warn you about a serious epidemic facing our country. The scourge of soda abuse. Many former popheads like myself found ourselves in the endless cycle of addiction and elimination until we believed there was no Fuck hope. it, I gave in. I'm licking my hands. what you're saying, son, but you're selling it, boy. Good job. I ask you, how long can this epidemic continue? <laughs> what was that? He said. Um... What's a guy got to do to get a drink around here? Aha, uh -huh. I know what you need. An ice-cold orange sugar fizz. I swear by him. No, that's not what I want at all. I must resist, but I am thirsty. And just one couldn't hurt. Frosty cold and so delicious. All the progress I've made. They were about to give me my five-week pin. I almost <laughs> feel bad about this. I don't have a conscience, Sam. What's your excuse? <laughs> oh, I think I know what's gonna happen from here, because I looked up the guide, but it didn't tell me exactly what happens, just what to do. Oh, blessed angels of carbonation! Fill me with your syrupy nectar! Ew! Yeah, now I'm not so much guilty as repulsed. Ugh. Keep it coming! More! I need more! I need... I need a bathroom! Which way is the bathroom? Uh, which way is the war room? Which way is the war room? It's that door right over there! But I don't... Oh, thank you! Where do you think you're going? I've got to get in there! Bad! We've got a priority red number two here in the Oval Office. No, it's just number one! Escorting the suspect to holding cell for interrogation? Come with me, sir. But it'll only take a second! Please, let me go! That He's gonna pee fun. on his suit. Okay, and no, no, I didn't catch all that. What did he say? And from here, it's a very, very a simple matter. Goodbye. Now it's time for some checks and balances, freelance police style. Max, will you do the honors? Gladly. Look at fellas, my fingertips look like little tadpoles. Oh God, he's a moron. 
What the fuck? They just don't make these guys like they used to. That's no guy, Max. It's a damned ugly puppet. Ah, the drawstring in his back should have been our first clue. Our first clue should have been the swirly eyes. But, silly me, I thought hypnotizee, not hypnotizer. What? Yes, an ingenious device being used to hypnotize the TV watching oh public. My fucking but who God. was controlling him? I'm gonna take days to get that smell out of the interrogation room. What? What have you done? He was like that when we got here. Sam did it! <laughs> so these two numbskulls managed to off the president. It was a deep tissue massage gone horribly wrong. Ninjas! Sam did it! Still, ratings from the last State of the Union address were even lower than reruns of Midtown Cowboys. I didn't expect to have to replace the president so soon. Now that these idiots have forced my hand, this is like an uh, anime. We're standing right here. Naruto you can hear thing. everything you're saying. It's like time a, for an a leader the people will have to history. listen to. Agents Jackson, Burr, and Degambe, we are moving the timeline forward. Commence phase two of the operation. I'll prepare the new candidate. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, I think this is where it comes to. Oh my. Oh my good god. Not quite the reaction I would have expected from a Secret Service agent discovering two people over the decapitated body of the president. What do you think this fake body is made of? Can I keep it? No time for that now, Max. We've got to stop the... Wait, what's that noise? Um... Holy shit! I did not expect this. I knew we were getting Abe Lincoln, but I didn't expect it to be like this. Blessed scuba diving Buddha on a banana boat with cocktail onions and a map to the stars' homes. Yeah! They've reanimated America's most beloved president. I always thought Taft was shorter. Not Taft, you deficient. <laughs> My fellow Americans, I am Abraham Lincoln. As you know by now, your president was recently murdered by two mysterious interpreters. But turn not to fear and despair. I have returned to guide us through this troubled time. A vote for me is a vote for Abraham Lincoln. That is interesting. What's that? Uh-huh. Lincoln Memorial. Right. Hydraulic motors and robotic implants. Yes. Okay. I see. We're on it. Wrong number? That was the commissioner, Max. If this new Mechalinkin wins the emergency election, the nefarious forces controlling him will have unchecked power to destroy the entire free world. I we hate have that when with they do Trump, that. So That's why one we, of us is going to have to it. run against him. You got to answer the phone. Okay, fair's fair. Max, we're going to make you the next the president place. of the United States. Yes! Why is there a fucking twin? 51st star? There was an extra star on that flag. What the hell? Is there some secret lore I don't know about? Did they make Cuba State? Alrighty. Uh, let's read this. I want to read the cue cards. I want to read the cue cards. Come on. It's the cue cards for Lincoln's speech. I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. Oh! I didn't even have to look up the guide for this. I know what I must do. I know what I. Wait, hold up. I want to click on sign. Move the rent. Hold up. Back up. Back up, Sam. Sam, back up. Sam, back up. Okay, let's go. What is this? Room for rent. I guess the country really is hard up for cash. I mean, we are in debt. One of my favorite features about this game is just the launching of Max and him plummeting back to Earth. Jesus Christ, that's so funny to me. I don't know why. Pithy campaign slogans. I don't know what pithy means. I'm fucking It's literate. a stack of pithy campaign slogans. The buck stops here, thousand points of light, and I did not have sex with that woman. <laughs> well, I did, but I didn't inhale. <laughs> okay, I think I know what we must do picture he had pictures of himself with cardboard cutouts of other presidents relatives maybe <laughs> hi 
Hi, America. It's me, Max. Remember, a vote for me is a vote for prosperity, alacrity, and the tyranny of my furry white iron fist. Thank you. <laughs> You'd be the cutest president ever. <laughs> I mean, I probably wouldn't vote for him, but he would be a, uh, the cutest president ever. Okay. I just took a peek at the guide. There's something I know we need to do, but first I'm gonna switch the cards. Wait, let's see if we can. The president's it's severed, the severed head. head of the president. I yearn to hold it aloft and turn giant sea atrocities to stone. You're thinking of Perseus. Medusa's head. Oh yeah, I always get those two heads confused. Only, okay. Um, but they can't play slogans. Switch key cards. That guy has a hat on. Good on him. I did not have sex with that woman. Okay, uh... I have to scratch my ear. I get itchy very easily. What is the periscope? What's up with the periscope? The White House pool. Most secure waiting pool on Earth. Oh, wait, we already saw that bit. Okay. Ugh, I hate this part of the song. It's weird. Organic listening device. Lincoln. Go, soldier! Mr. Lincoln, would you like to say a few words to the audience? <clears throat> Thank you. This is a date that will be remembered for centuries to come. Today is the day we return America to greatness. I stand here at the steps of the White House, not above the people, but with the people. Only one man can lead the nation through this troubled time. I, Abraham Lincoln, am that man. The time to act is now. Thank you. <laughs> I've heard better addresses from the 411 operator. Is that what supposed to be our 911? Hey, Lincoln! Captain Ahab called! He wants his beard back! I'm gonna slap you silly, you little punk. Save it for the debate, Max. Okay, where's the bug? Okay, let's get flyer. Where's the bug? It's Lincoln's campaign flyer. I want you, honest, dedicated, over a century of experience. Abraham Lincoln is your man. Weird. Let's get the bug. All right. Uh, I think we have to take something to Sybil. I skimmed the. I skimmed it, so it's not entirely cheating, right? Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! If I do play Psychonauts, I want to figure out how to hook up a controller to my computer, so... Because... So instead of using keybinds, I can just use that. That'd be very, very nice. Oh, wait, wrong way! Eh, yeah, whatever. I'm pretty sure there's something we need to do here. Uh, I think we need to call the White House again. I have no fucking clue. I'm stupid. Phone. Who are you calling, Sam? The White House. Abraham Lincoln here. Have you checked the baby? Who is this? Is this that Max Punk? I I I I screwed up. I feel. Okay, we need to talk to Keith Bliss. Actually, I'm fucking stupid. The dumbest. I am the dumbest. The dumb of arse, the stupid bitch. Tis me! Hello, Hugh Bliss. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Okay, let's see a magic trick. Show us a magic trick, Hugh Bliss. Magic is easy when the colors of your soul are. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> less chatter, more magic. Okay, how about I disappear? Well, your mind reading is obviously still working. It is! <laughs> now watch me as I vanish. Except you won't be able to watch me because I'll be gone! Oh, there goes the rainbow. Hey, a free home Swipe delivery this? sign. Okay. Now we talk to Sybil, I'm pretty sure. I need to...
I need to... My brain is fucking fried. I have an essay due on the... On the 20th. I'd say it's bare bones, but I... I don't... I'd hesitate... But I don't even think I have bones. I'm fucking... It's a four-page essay, and it's due on the 20th, and I'm hey, doing Sybil. this instead. Hey, Sybil, how goes I'm, the dating game? I don't really Computer regret it. Computer-generated love is in the air. Wait, I forgot. See you around, Sybil. This is what we need. This is what we need. There's a noise in my What's room. What's this? I think there's a, cat a new application? Somewhere. Yeah, it's uh, for a friend of ours. Let's see. Not the Abraham Lincoln. He's tall, distinguished, loves the theater. He sounds perfect. <sighs> that chump doesn't have half my cute, fluffy marketability. Do you Damn think your Max. computer can find him a date? Computer? Nothing. This guy sounds perfect for me. Oh, but he didn't leave his phone number. Next time you see him, give him my number. I'd love to meet him. Damn. <laughs> Someone's got a... Well, she did say she has a thing for older men. I clicked the wrong button. We'll set the hour mark. hard when you're when you're stupid and don't know how to come up with uh, talking points all right here's what we do bug who are you calling sam sybil sybil hello abe is that you um I, Abraham Lincoln, am that man. Oh, well, Mr. President, it's just, it's just such an honor to talk to you. I saw your application, and I was wondering, would you like to go out sometime? This is a date that will be remembered for centuries to come. Oh my, you are a charmer, aren't you? Well then, Mr. Rail Splitter. Where would you like to meet? Uh... I stand here at the steps of the White House. At the White House. Got it. What time should I meet you? Uh, here you go. The time to act is now. Oh, I love that decisiveness. I'll rush right over. I'm gonna slap you silly, you little punk. What? I didn't catch that last part. I will feast on your entrails. <laughs> now, <soul. laughs> what, Abe? What's going on? Uh, see you soon. Gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Let's. So to sum up, family values are the bedrock of this nation. Our fidelity, I didn't even click honesty, this and just, loyalty uh, uh, to family is our most sacred asset as Americans. Candidate Max, your rebuttal? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Mr. Lincoln! I believe we have a question in the audience from someone who is not Candidate Lincoln's wife. Oh, hi, Sam. Hi, Max. Greetings, Hello. random harlot. This is gonna be Abe, awkward. I'm here. Are you ready for our date? What? I I've never seen this woman before in my oh, life. Oh, shit. But on the phone, you sounded so eager to meet me. Listen to me, America. I did not arrange a date with this woman. Oh, so she's good enough to fool around with, but not to date. Mr. Lincoln, I can't believe you're doing this to me. <laughs> wow, Sybil, damn. Who's Natter? Who the fuck's Natter? Okay. Uh, I think. Free home delivery. Uh, Swiss key cards. Free home delivery. Alright, let's. Next one. 
Mr. Lincoln, as a candidate for office, my pal Max would like to engage in a thoughtful discussion of the key issues. Followed by a round of spiteful mudslinging. Hmm, I see. Well, this is a bit irregular. As you're well aware, I'm the most beloved president in history. Mm. So I just assumed I'd be running unopposed. Oh, no, you didn't. You ain't all that. I freed the slave. <laughs> I was star of a popular television sitcom. I'm on the penny. I was on TV. Now, gentlemen, we can resolve this like adults through moderate reasoned debate. Very well, then. In the spirit of democracy, I say, bring it. Uh, and it's a beautiful day on the White House lawn is, as no, we bring my you pants the first talk, in a series of debates tag. for this emergency <laughs> election for U.S. I president. To, I need to readjust. Hold up. In the Republican corner, we have the giant animated statue of Abraham Lincoln. The only good Republican. And representing well, the Random parties. Violence and Destruction Party, there is the hyperkinetic, rabbit-like creature known as Max. I mean, fucking... Acting as completely impartial moderator for the debates will be Sam. Uh, the candidates are Matt, ready, so let's context. listen in. Don't take the, my words out of context. The part they switched, the parties switched platforms in the 60s. Prior to that, the Republicans were the liberals. Okay, let's talk about the issues. Contestants, it's time for our lightning round. Mr. Lincoln, I'm going to name some of the tough issues facing our country today. Okay. I'd like you to sum up your stand on those issues in a few concise words. Well, all right. I'm afraid this will have to be completely off the top of my head as I have nothing prepared. <laughs> Where do you stand on religion and schools? Free home delivery. And that doesn't really make a bit of sense, so it looks like it's politics as usual here at the debate. How do you plan to solve the problem of toxic waste? Free home delivery. Ooh, an effective but very controversial proposal from candidate Lincoln. And the crowd did not like that idea one bit. Let's see how it affected the polls. Okay, next is... Uh, all right. Give me all you got. Let's talk. It's time for another in this ongoing series of debates between Abraham Lincoln He's doing and doing armpit farts on the fucking... We turn you over to our impartial oh, moderator, God. Sam. Uh, let's talk about the issues. Mr. Lincoln, I'd like you to tell the voters your stand on some of the tough issues. Very well. Oh, wait. No, wait. Hold up. I'm going to switch to Max. Greetings, miserable proles. I want to. I want to see what Max has to say. People of Earth, your day of reckoning is at hand. There's a joke about the chupacabra somewhere. This election reminds me of a droll story. It seems Chester A. Arthur and the Pope were kayaking down the Amazon one day. Suddenly, a tiny kandiru fish swims up the Pope's and lodges itself in his. Arthur grabs the Pope's pliers and swelled up like a melon and the pope says thanks last time that happened mckinley wanted us no wait 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 i think i told it wrong i'm a uniter not a divider i foresee an america under one rule an iron-fisted rule one rabbit one law let your neighbors know that dissent will not be tolerated all hail max he is such a weird looking... I have a dream, America! It starts out where I'm in an all-nude production of Death of a Salesman on Ice, but I haven't studied and I can't remember my lines. Suddenly, it begins to rain marshmallows, but that's okay mm -hmm. because trees are made of graham crackers and chocolate bars are the official currency. I believe that by working together, we can make that dream a reality. Uh, oh, here's the joke. I like this joke. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. And the chupacabra, madre de Dios, he'll kill us all. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's see. Um, how would you describe your tax plan? How would you describe your tax plan? 
Give me all you got. And candidate Lincoln has proposed one shocker of an economic strategy, which even Democrats are calling a trifle excessive. That had to have hurt him in the polls. Key cards. Let's try this again. I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. Those key cards. Two wrongs don't make a right. I did not have sex with that woman. <laughs> All right, there's a uh... um I I need to see him fuck up the the religion and schools one. Where do you stand on religion and schools? I did not have sex with that woman. Whoa, the debate has taken on a decidedly confessional tone with that nonsensical reply from candidate Lincoln. Luckily for him, the crowd is ignoring it. That's enough for now. Keep them coming. I'm ready for anything. Okay, let's check out the posters. Uh... Time out. Max has to uh, visit the little candidate's room. Let's check out the posters. with power, but it just goes right through me. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to book a train ticket at the same time as I'm streaming this. Where are we going, Sam? It's very fucking weird, I... Back to the it, office. It won't Check let me out. choose a date for tomorrow. It, ha it says, oh, it keeps defaulting to today. I want to go tomorrow, not fucking today. Good lordy. Okay, let's check out the posters. Uh, let's check out the posters. See if there's anything over there. Spin the bottle championship is coming up. I like when they do the sudden death round with the Molotov cocktails. Okay. Um feel like taking in some pro wrestling? I think I've seen that one. Uh, fuck, I'm lost. It's all We should go to Switzerland sometime, Max. Nah, they always jip you on the cheese. It's like half air. Okay. Yeah, let's just... Okay, let's, we have to find one for religion and schools. Let's try this again. Okay, let's go back to the White House and screw around some more with the cue cards. Where are we going, Sam? We're off to the White House. Oh, boy! I'm hungry. But I don't want to eat more shrimp chips because they get all over my hands. I have a dilemma. Okay, let's go to the... I did not have sex with that woman. A thousand points of light. Okay. Keep going. The buck stops here. The buck stops here. Maybe that's the answer. Maybe that's the answer. Let's try that answer. Come on. The buck stops here. The buck stops here. Let's go. Let's, let's do this shit. Oh, yeah. If you see up here, there's an extra fucking star. What the hell? Where do you stand on religion and schools? The buck stops here. We're not quite sure what Lincoln meant by that, so it looks like, yes, the American people have decided to ignore it. 
Okay. That's enough for now. Time out. Max has a therapist's appointment he can't miss. I think we're on the verge of a real breakthrough. All right, let's change this again. Free home delivery. Uh, no, so I think it might have been the first one then. Give me all you got. I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. Let's try this one! Fucking hell. Where do you stand on religion and schools? Um. I'm glad that I've been given one more life to give for my country. Lincoln pulls out his trusted catchphrase for this election, which delights the crowd, but seems to have no effect on the polls. I need to see the fucking... Uh, I need to check a different walkthrough. God fuck me. Ooh. Ooh. No, no, no. No, no, no. Fuck. Uh, what about this one? Let's try this one. Boop, 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 Max for president. Uh. Wait, hold up. I'm getting something completely fucking different right now. Holy shit, I'm getting That's something different. That's enough for now. Keep them coming. I'm ready for anything. I gotta check out. I gotta check on Sybil. Time out. Gotta check on Sybil for some fucking reason. What the hell? Where are we going, Sam? I think at least. I'm pretty sure I need to check Back out. Back to the one. office. Shotgun! Whew, a sip, uh... Oh, it says love is for suckers. Whee! Oh no. Sybil. I don't know if it said that beforehand, but... Uh... Let's talk to Sybil. Hiya, Sybil. How are things in the world of computer-generated romance? Oh, I'm not doing that anymore. Can you believe that guy? Never mentioning that he was married? Men are such self-centered jerks. Preach it, girlfriend! So you changed careers again? Yeah, now I'm running a dating service. Um, come again? A carbon dating service. I bought this astoundingly useful machine that tells me how old things are. I usually just cut them in half and count the rings. There's a reason you're not invited to birthday parties anymore. <laughs> I wanted a fresh start and a new career to get my mind off that fiasco with Honest Abe. This wasn't my first choice, but I got a good deal on the carbon dating equipment online, and I couldn't afford to change my sign. Uh, how does carbon, how does carbon work? dating work? I don't know. Something about carbon-14 and half-lives and radiation. I'm impressed with your detailed scientific knowledge. Very professional. That's the beauty of it. I don't really need to know anything. I just aim my little machine at something and it tells me how old it is. Allow me to demonstrate. This tiki is... Oh my gosh! It's, it's 2,000 years old! This is fantastic! Old is good? Absolutely! I can have my office put on the National Register of Historic Places. I might even get a grant. I'd be rich! Um... Can we borrow your carbon dating machine? Can we borrow your carbon dating machine? No way! That machine is still my only chance to take care of my money problems. 
Unless I get a grant, since I'm now on the National Register of Historic Places. There's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. Okay, see you around, Sybil. See you around, Sybil. My brain has just died, I feel. Okay. Come on. Exit. My head hurts, too. Fuck. Maybe it really did die. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, uh... Come on. Back to the White House. Where are we going, Sam? Uh, You're I'm off to brain. the White House. Oh boy! Legit, I'm very confused, because, like, I'm fucking missing something. Something's fucking missing, and I don't know what. Let's look at the globe real quick. I'm not really thirsty. <laughs> Funny. Uh, calendar? I can't let you touch that, sir. Only the president may use the presidential calendar. Okay, then we need to get... Hold up, I need to... Uh, fuck. Me <laughs> Two wrongs don't make a right. Okay, that's what we need. We need to switch around the cue cards a little more. And then we get max elected. Uh, brain hurt. Brain hurt. I just want chicken tendies. There's this old saying. I saw. I, I think I saw it on YouTube. Give me, give me chicken Two tendies. Wrongs don't make a right. Give me, give me chicken tendies. Be them crispy or from Wendy's. I love that fucking quote, especially because it implies that Wendy's chicken tenders are not crispy. Where do you stand on religion and schools? Two wrongs don't make a right. Did we hear that right? Lincoln just came down against both religion and education. Wow, that's gotta hurt him in the polls. Damn, it just, that's just eked out. The results from the emergency election are coming in. And it appears that former sitcom star Max has been elected president of the United States. Wow. In an unprecedented show of bipartisan solidarity, all of the country's political parties have desperately asked for a recount. Let's cut to the White House lawn to hear candidate Lincoln's address. You've got to be b***ing me, you idiots. Oh, shit. He took the news much better than expected. Oh shit! Democracy! I will make you all my hypnotic slaves! <laughs> what the fuck? Max, that robotic Abe Lincoln will enslave the entire East Coast if we don't stop him. Who cares? I'm the president of the U.S. Let's go bomb someone into oblivion. Not just anyone, Max. Abe Lincoln must die. There's yes. the title drop. Here's where the part copy. Here's where where we channel John Wilkes Booth. Don't take that out of context either. Woo! Okay, uh, going to the office. Okay, we need to find a ribbon. Finally, Mr. President, you're here. That's okay. the president. People will vote for anyone these days. Obviously. What's that supposed to mean? It means... Never mind. Look, Max, all the soda poppers are here. I don't have time for foreign dignitaries. Check out all the cool stuff on my new desk! Oh, there's a joke somewhere. Hold up. I need to grab the ribbon, first of all. It's the Secretary of Presidential Whimsy ribbon. Looks like Max can use this to appoint someone as an honorary cabinet secretary. Okay... Hey, Specs. Max, you remember <clears throat> most omnipotent exaltedness Max Sama, overseer yeah! of the nine cosmic planes. You remember Specs, the other soda popper. 
We vaguely recognize our loyal subject. What They're are using, you guys talking about? He's using about? the royal we. Kiss the ring. What? No. What are you doing here? What business do you have with the president? We're here to get federal resolution on a dispute. It wouldn't be a dispute if you... If I what? Nothing. Awkward. What business do you have with the president? We're here to get federal resolution on a dispute. I, 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 I what fucked if up. I... Nothing. Awkward. Okay, uh... What have you been up to? What have you been up to? Winning an election. I'm now the governor of South Dakota. Hey, just like <laughs> Wizard. No, not just like Wizard. I was the first one of us to run for office. <laughs> like you invented it. You just, ah, uh, forget it. What are you doing as governor? What are you doing as governor? I'm fixing the problems in the state and getting it back to perfect working order. <laughs> Did you know that the Black Hills are really more of a greenish gray? I like this guy. committee addressing the problem. <laughs> but what about the Badlands? We're making them even worse. <laughs> Good. Later, Specs. Okay, here's what we do. Uh, we give... Hold up, I'll... No, wait, I'll... It's... Fuck with the calendar. I think this is what we need to do. It's the official United States calendar. Twelve of the hottest Supreme Court justices in their skimpiest, naughtiest swimsuits. Even better, Max. <laughs> you can actually change the official date. Oh, boy! Uh... Secretary's Day. We now declare today April 26th, Secretary's Day. That's supposed to be Administrative Professionals Day. Wow, Sam. When I picked you for vice president, I didn't know you were such a politically correct, bleeding heart liberal. All right, then. Secretary's Day. Okay, we, we do have to give the ribbon to the Secret Service agent. Ribbon! Max, I mean His Excellency El Jefe Maximilian I, Intimidator of the Realm, has a special surprise for you. <laughs> Better get those handkerchiefs ready. This could get sentimental. Agent Superball, we have decided to reward you for your excellent service to your country. For your unwavering commitment to preventing us from being where we most desperately needed to be. For your unerring devotion to being a constant hindrance in our task. For all these things and more, we now dub thee Superball. Uh, secretary in charge. Secretary in charge of guarding the war room door. Max, no. Oh, right. Uh, Secretary of Defense, whatever. So we have spoken, so it shall be. All hail, Max. I'm overwhelmed, sir. I don't know what to say. I like now run along like to a cabinet ball. meeting. I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. You've got to be kidding me. I still have my orders. Okay, well, it's Secretary Stand aside, Day. pal. The president needs to get into the war room. I'm afraid that's not allowed, sir. Perhaps you didn't hear our advisor. We would like to see our war room. No can do, sir. Orders. Take a vacation. Today is Secretary's Day. You have to take the day off. It's the law, Jack! A Hold vacation? Up, fix... Permission to weep openly, sir. Not just granted, but encouraged. The forces of bureaucracy win again. I love this country. There we go. Fixed and into the war room. I think the war room door is only openable in time of war. Stupid old piece. Okay, where's the national budget? That's next. Uh, national budget! Hey, look, Max. It's the presidential discretionary budget. You have $100 million to allocate however you want. What a delightfully random and convenient figure. Uh... Civil Pandemic's office. Back. Okay. Sybil's funded. Now she can give us the carbon dating thing. Yeah. There. Come on. Okay. Oh, the president's coming with us. Cool. Where are we going, Sam? Back to the office. Shotgun! Okay. 
Next we choose... Next we go back to Sybil. Hmm, Sybil left the door unlocked. She's probably living it up on some tropical island on the taxpayer's dime. I bet she's getting abducted in some sleazy nightclub, forced to do unspeakable things for a power-mad despot, before narrowly escaping his volcano-top lair with only one of her kidneys left. Don't be such a pessimist, Max. Sorry, Sam. It's just no fair. We're stuck here working like and she gets to have all sort. the fun. I, I have no fucking clue, though. All right, let's get the uh, carbon-14 dating device. It's Sybil's carbon dating machine. Got the carbon dating device. Go to Bosco's next. <laughs> I am a... I, I was about to say I'm a mad fucking genius. But no, I'm not. I've been looking this shit up. And I forget to use... And I forget to make Mac... To make Sam sprint half the time. Fucking hell. Oof, I am a stupid bitch. Uh, Chewbacca, back, Chewbacca, back, Chewbacca. Back. Oh, Mr. President, please do not execute me. Okay, next. Cup and ditch advice. Hot weenies. How old are the hot weenies? Well. Bosco, by my readings, these weenies date from the early Cretaceous period. Uh, da, it's a special bargain for you. Still tasty. A handful today only. You don't understand. Your store is now a national historic place. These weenies are valuable artifacts. Really? I mean, of course. And preserving the heritage of my people. Just how valuable are we talking about here? We'll get back to you on that. <laughs> okay, um, alright. Checking the guide. Use the carbon dating device on the hot weenies. Exit Bosco's and head back to the Oval Office. Okay, let's keep, let's get going. <sighs> Making good time, mainly because I've been relying on this thing. Because I'm stupid. And I'm... I feel like I should take a nap for some goddamn reason. I don't know why. <sighs> Hear that yawn? Fear the yawn. Where are we going, Sam? Fear the We're yawn. We're off to the White House. Oh boy! <sighs> the computer's very warm and it's lying on my tummy. It's a very pleasant sensation. Okay. Check the national budget. Bosco's and convenience store. Back. Yeah. Hello, Comrade Bosco. Hail to the chief. I don't know how you guys did it, but I just got a huge check from the government. You earned it, Bosco. It's not easy to perfectly preserve weenies that predate the discovery of fire. <laughs> not to mention the teeming microcosm growing in the bathroom. We're considering making it a national wildlife preserve. Now I can finally finish my satellite defense system. So we can have the truth serum? I'm betting that's a Chekhov's sure. gun. Let me dig it up from the labs. This is a bottle of vodka. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Hmm. Get a couple of shots of that in somebody, and they'll tell you all their secrets. Thanks, Bosco. Okay, and then we gotta... All right, let's go. We are nearing the final act. It is getting exciting. Let's go to Wizard. Wizard, I got a drink for you. God, that is probably one of the most dangerous sentences I have ever said. <laughs> Where are we going, Sam? The White House. We're off to the White House. Oh boy. I love point and clicks. But I'm shit at them. That is the solemn truth, unfortunately. Okay. And vodka. Here you go, wizard. Care for a drink? It's soda, right? You brought more soda. 
Sure, why not? This feels like a mistake. Wow! That's got more kick than the other ones. Thanks, Seven Max. You guys... You guys are my best friends. <laughs> now, can we get back to the deliberation? What's the point? You still think Peeper's idea is stupid. Stupid? You never told me you thought my idea was stupid. She said her idea of adding Herbert Hoover hugging the four other presidents was the Okay, so I'm assuming this is about the heard. about Mount Rushmore. Well, it is. Hoover wasn't even a president, which means he certainly wasn't the most loving of all the presidents. Robert, well, at least president. I didn't suggest putting a parking garage in George Washington's forehead, like some four-eyed freaks I know. You little, yeah. you big. Of course you realize this means war. Oh no. War. war! Well, now we can use the war room. What's this I hear? Oh my god, it's a musical what number. Wondrous thing. Ah. Is this the Def Con Klaxon's ring? What the hell? I did not expect this. A flashing light. <laughs> Up <of> the door, <laughs> just one. It could be war. There goes the narrate oh, siren. It's good for it's good, good, good for, for you. Good for you. It's good for me. What the hell? What the hell? What the fuck? I am just so baffled. Oh. It's a dance. Oh my. Oh. They're synchronized swimmers. What in the hell? I'm gonna start crying, this is so fucking weird. And that's saying something coming from me, goddamn. the fuck? Well, let's not do that again. <laughs> I was holding it in for so long just out of bafflement and just to be respectful so y'all could hear that thing, but oh my fucking... <laughs> oh fuck. I need a drink. Oh fuck. Oh fuck me. Okay. All right. Uh, Jimmy Two Teeth. Look, Max, in the White House garden pond. It's Jimmy Two Teeth. We often allow lobbyists to use the pool, Sam. Jimmy's a lobbyist now. What's he lobbying for? Cheese interests? Affordable health care for the aged and underprivileged, Sam. He's a lot more multifaceted than you give him credit for. <laughs> All right. Uh, boo boo. 
The DeSoto. Dakota situation. Where are we going, Sam? No place. Never mind. Uh, that's actually kind of clever. Can't click the dummy hat. The Dakota situation. What's that? The civil war in the Dakotas seems to be escalating, Max. Let them thin out the overpopulation of moose and strip malls for a few weeks, and then we'll step in. Well then. It looks like Bismarck has fallen to the West Dakotan militia. Oh no! That will wipe out the country's crucial snow and slush reserves! Your compassion for your people is heartwarming, Mr. President. <laughs> that is so funny. Okay. Ooh, co cookies! Ooh, cookies! Hey, what? there's gourmet coffee. In case the idea of war makes you insufficiently jittery. I'm plenty juiced just being in here. Let's blow stuff up. I want to I click on the cookies. I want to click the cookies. Cookies. It's a plate of fancy cookies. For the discriminating general with a sweet tooth and a taste for vengeance. Alrighty. Uh, targeting computer. War manual. Looks like a remote homing beacon in the fridge in Antarctic. So peaceful, so serene. Wanna blow it up? You have to ask? Uh, let's check out the next target. The homing beacon to the Kremlin doesn't seem to be working. It was probably turned off in the spirit of Glasnost. More likely those lazy commie bastards forgot to change the batteries. Lazy former commie bastards, Max. It's the distant, peaceful world of Krypton. <laughs> they mock us with their utopian society of crystal cities and absentee parents. They must be exterminated! <laughs> well, what do you know? Bosco was right. The government really has been targeting his store for destruction. Won't he be glad when we tell him? What do you say we keep this to ourselves, Max? You're right. We don't want to ruin the surprise. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go back. Uh, let's read the war manual. I, 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 I'm curious. What to do in time of war. Select target. Press fire. That's all it says. Monitor. These must be for the Joint Chiefs and other quasi-important hoo-hahs. Nice screensaver. War, war, war. That's the screensaver. Fucking hell. Uh. So we have to take out Lincoln. What could we shoot? To kill Lincoln. I'm assuming. Uh, uh, looking at the guide. Alrighty. Okay, we gotta go to Bosco. There. Even the, even if, when he's the president, we still get to launch Max. That's wonderful. Oh, no, wait, hold up, the DeSoto. Where are we going, Sam? Uh, I, have to, I have to scratch my fucking side. Mm, Back to the scratchy. office. Scratchy, 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 scratch, scratch, scratch. Mm. Woo! All right, that feels, that feels much better. Much, much better. Bam. Okay. Bosco's inconvenience. Ugh. Ah, I I knocked my headphones again. Fuck me. Okay, the cameras. There's one there. Uh, no wait. I think this might be the. Hold up. Beacon. Look, stuck to the camera. That must be the homing beacon for the intercontinental ballistic missiles aimed at Bosco's store. What was that? Uh, he said, that must be the best price on baby wipes I've ever seen. Okay. Exit. We know what we must do. My fellow Americans, we know what we must do. Let's go! There's no time to waste. Where are we going, Sam? I hear he's destroying After Boston as we speak. Lincoln. Yes. Hey, we can't let him destroy the East Coast. My mom fed me like an East Coast kid. What will happen to all the seafood? 
Well, he wasn't hard to find. Just had to follow the trail of broken campaign promises. That's pretty profound for a high-speed car chase, <laughs> There's like, there's, I there's like think I presidential soon, stuff Jonathan on the Minnesota <laughs> now. Beacon him. Nice toss, Max. We'd better act fast before he manages to knock off the beacon. Or choose his own back off to escape. Where are we going, Sam? We're White off House. to the White House. Oh, boy! Back to the White House, back to the war room. Now it is time to to shoot Lincoln in the head ballistic style. Looks like the targeting beacon is still stuck on Lincoln. This is a pretty impressive temper tantrum, Sam. At this rate, he'll have enslaved all of DC and most of Baltimore by tomorrow morning. He can't. You're right, Max. Still, I think we should stop him. We haven't got anything better to do. Good night, sweet prince. Mr. President? Don't mind if I do. This is Wait, a dream for go. him. Shouldn't we revel a little? We don't want to miss this. <laughs> you will all do my bidding. I am the most powerful presidential monument ever created! <laughs> was that the fucking Washington Monument? I think it was! <laughs> oh, there goes the hat. Whee! That was better than feeding laxatives to pigeons on parade days. We broke two presidents in one afternoon. A personal best! Well, it looks like the country is saved. At least from mass hypnosis. What do you want to do now? Let's abuse my powers as leader of the free world to squeeze the middle class until they're burning their own shoes for heat. Sounds fun, but I was thinking we could treat ourselves to some chocolate frosted gut bombs and then have a little target practice down to the Smithsonian. Sam, you're my best friend. Agent Chuckles report. Query status. Lincoln Gambit, four score, stroke seven. Query not acknowledged and acceptable timeout parameters. Error. 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 What? Error. Error. What's the G? We'll probably find out next episode. Achievement unlocked. Greatest president ever. Well, that was fun. <laughs> and only an hour and 40 minutes. I feel like that's a new record for one of the, for a Sam Max game. But then again, I was cheating most of the time. Woo! Do, 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 do. I'm actually gonna keep, keep it running for once because this is good music. I'm proud of myself. Chad, are you proud of yourself? Actually, scratch that. I'm not proud of myself. There's crumbs in my bed from the shrimp chips. Fuck me. Hopefully, you won't have to wait as long for another stream. I'm hoping it, there are two more episodes of Sam Max. Once we get those over and done with, I can get Psychonauts. I can play Psychonauts. But there might be some more Minecraft interspersing. I have no fucking clue. Anyway. Yeah, it's freezes. Woo! Did it glitch for you, or is that just me? And whatever. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. You're all lovely, and I want you all to fuck off and have a great day.